fine good afternoon to you all students hi students how are you i hope you all are fine and you all are doing well so warm greetings to you all students welcome to our today's online class so now we are studying about chapter 9 isn't it so what's the title of our chapter data types variables and expressions so before i am going to start about today's portion so just recall what are the things i have taught at the last class okay so just recall first all of you take your computer textbooks in your hand so please all of you take your computer textbooks in your hand so take your mobile phone and sit in a place and listen carefully okay so because why i asked you to take your textbook means so now you are studying about programs isn't it so each and every line you should know what's the meaning of this line so while i am explaining please write near to the line what's the meaning of that line okay then only it is very easy for you to understand understood okay so last class we have studied about variables isn't it so what do you mean by variables and what's the memory representation of variables everything isn't it and also three programs i asked you to study so have you all studied the three programs have you all written the whole programs in your homework notebook so please write what are the things i asked you to write okay okay so today we are going to study about access modifier constant okay access modifier const const means nothing but constant okay important one more question just mark it const is the keyword used to declare a constant okay what's the meaning of const it's a keyword const is a keyword to represent constant normally you hear a word about constant isn't it so what's the constant value for pi 3.14 what's the meaning of constant constant means the value you can't able to change the value cannot change by the user as per your wish you can't able to change the value that is called as constant isn't it the same meaning only here also the same meaning the word const okay so yesterday you have studied about some programs in the programs you are assigning some values for the variables isn't it so during execution time as per your wish you can able to change the values isn't it but if you are declaring a variable with the word const means you can't able to change the value that's the meaning of const understood listen carefully okay so already you have studied about constant in mathematics also you have studied about constant values lot of constant values you have studied likewise here also a word const means it represents a word constant okay so mainly why you are using the word const or constant means so to reduce the accessibility of a variable okay what do you mean by accessibility accessing okay so where you should access the you need to access the variable where you need to take the value okay so we are calling as an access modifier okay so uh, why what do you mean by access modifier so access modifier main used to restrict the accessibility of a variable okay so listen here they are giving one example listen int num equal to 100 what's the meaning you are declaring a variable called num what's the data type for that variable integer okay so the variable num is declared as a data type int so what's the meaning the entire program you should use integer value for the variable num okay so this is a normal meaning int num equal to 100 means you are giving or assigning a value 100 for the variable num the same thing if you are giving the same declaration with the word const means see this line const int num equal to 100 the same declaration while well, declaration time itself you are giving a word const means you can't able to change the value 100 till the end of the program okay so if you are not giving the word const here means no problem okay you can able to change the value int num equal to 100 means during execution time so if you need to for example num 1 plus num 2 so after adding two values the value of num get changed isn't it that's a common so but if you are giving the word const here means you can't able to change the value 100 to the till the end of the program understood 
Understood what is the meaning of const? Okay. So listen. For that one example program they have given. Listen carefully. <coughs> what is the first step to write the program? Say what is the first step to write the program? First is the header file. So what is the header file? So what is the header file? Hash include IO stream. Okay. So what is the second thing? <coughs> Using namespace std. So what is the meaning of header file IO stream? So IO stream means? So all the input and output operations will come under the header file IO stream. Namespace means a ID modifier. Then main of function, then open brace. Okay. Listen, here they have declared a variable. What variable they have declared? Now, what's the variable name here? <coughs> what's the name of this line? Yesterday we have studied. What's the name of this line? Variable declaration. Okay. So in the variable declaration, you have declared a word const here. Okay, listen. Next line, see out value of num is num. What's the meaning? So, what's the meaning of see out? Whatever you have given inside the see out, that it will print in the output screen, isn't it? For that, what, what value will come? Value of num is num. So, what's value will come? 100. Okay, listen carefully. Next line, they are giving num equal to num plus 1. What's the meaning? So, you are adding the value 1 to the variable num. Understood? You are adding value 1 to the variable num. Already what value they have given? 100. Now, you are adding the value 1 to 100. What is the meaning? 101. Next, after that, in the output C out, you are giving value of num after increment. You are calling the same variable. Just think and say whether you will get output for the program. Whether you will get the proper output? No. Why? Because if you give a bar const means already said you can't able to change the value for the variable. But the value of num equal to 100 already you have given. But listen, next here you are adding the value 1 to the variable num. That means 100 plus 1. You are changing the value, isn't it? Whether you can get the output for this variable num? No. So, you will get a error message. Okay, understood? Understood the meaning of const? Okay. So, next topic is reference. Okay. What is the normal meaning of reference? Reference in a book you have seen, isn't it? Reference. Or some things, or some papers and all you have to read means you, you can see, you might have seen. Refer this one. What is the meaning of refer? You can see or you can refer or you can get information from there. Isn't it? Same thing. Here also in the program also you can give reference. Okay. <coughs> reference is nothing but alias for previously defined variable. Okay. So, already you have defined some variable. So, you are getting the value from the previously defined variable. Understood what you mean by reference? Already you are de uh, declaring some variable. You are getting uh, the value from the previously declared variable. Understood that is called reference. So, important two more questions. Sometimes they will ask, what do you mean by reference? What do you mean by reference? It's an alias. Alias means just to refer. So, from the previously defined variable, you are taking a reference or previously defined what value you have defined for the variable, that value you are taking as a reference. Understood? Okay. So, this reference will have two things, important things. How many things are there for this reference? Two. First thing, base type. Understood what's the first thing? Base type. Second thing is an ambassador symbol. How you need to declare this reference in the program? First you should, first you should give base type and next along with the base type you should give with the symbol ambassador symbol. Okay. So this what variable, next one is reference variable. Three things. How you need to declare uh, reference? Three things. First one is base type. Second one is ambassador symbol. Third one is reference variable. Very, very important references. Uh, again and again I am telling. So, declaration for references. What's the time? How many things are there in the reference? Three. What are they? Base time, ambassador symbol and reference variable. Okay. Then, which value you need to assign for this reference variable? That value you need to give. Understood? Listen. This is the syntax. What do you mean by syntax? Syntax means just like a formula. Okay. Listen carefully. What is the syntax? First one is type. First you should give the type or base type. Next one is ambassador symbol. 
Next, along with the ampersand symbol, reference variable. Okay, equal to original variable. So, from which value you should copy to the original variable, that variable you should give. Understood? So, next see one example, then only you will get understand. <coughs> okay, so what's the first line for the program? Header 5. So, what's the header 5? IO stream. Next one is namespace, int main of. It's common for all programming language. Isn't it? Next, after the main of function, open brace. Next, next you are declaring your own variable. What variable you are declaring? Num. What's the variable name here? Num. Okay, listen. Next, you are going to declare a reference variable. Okay, always the reference variable will have some already defined variable. What do you mean by reference? Reference variable means it is, it will get a value from the already defined variable. Okay, so already you have defined one variable called num. Next, you are going to declare reference variable. Understood? So, what's the syntax for defining a reference variable? First one is base type or data type. Okay, so what's the data type for int? Sir, what's the data for, type for the variable num? In. So, same data type in. So, what's the next thing? Ambassan symbol. Ambassan symbol. Then, reference variable. Okay. So, what's the reference variable you are using? Term. So, which one is the reference variable here? So, please listen all right in your book. Okay. While I am explaining itself, please listen. What's the meaning of this one? What's the name of this one? Everything with pencil you write it. Okay. What is this one? This is a... This line represents which one de declaration of reference variable. First one is data type or base type. Next one along with ambassan symbol. Next one is reference variable. Which was the name of the reference variable here? Temp. Equal to num. That is original variable. Okay. What's the meaning? So what value you have defined or declared for the variable num. That is already that is referred by the variable temp. What value? Simple way we can see means what value you are giving for the val variable num. That value is copied to the variable term. Understood? Okay. So now you are giving value for the variable num. So what's the value for the variable num? 100. Understood? Next you are going to print. Okay. See out the value of num. The value of num. What's the value of num? Where you are storing num. So you should call the variable num. Okay. Next. The value of temp. The value of temp you are storing in which variable? Temp. Okay. So, now you, run, you are going to run the program. Okay. So, what output you will get? So, what output you will get first? The value of num. So, what is the value of num? 100. Next, the value of temp. Temp means what is the meaning of reference? Already refer, defined variable. That value is automatically taken by the variable reference. So, what is the already defined variable? Num. What's the value of num here? 100. The same value is assigned to the variable term. So, what output you will get the answer? 100. Understood what do you mean by reference? Understood or not? So, two programs you have studied. What are they? So, first one is modifier const. Each and everything is very very important. So, only I am going slowly. Const. So, each and everything you should know. What's the use of the word const? What's the use of the word reference? Understood? Okay. So, next one is formatting output. Okay. So, what do you mean by formatting? So, formatting is the very very important concept. So, where you are using means name itself having formatting output. So, you are going to format or modify some changes in the output screens. Okay. So, where you will get the output? So, once you are typing the program after you are saving then you will run the program, you will get the output, isn't it? So, you are going to decorate or modify some changes in the output screen. Why? To look and feel or easy for reading or easy for understanding, you are going to modify some changes. That one we are calling as an what? Formatting output. Okay. To format the output, we are using manipulators. <coughs> very, very important. One more question. So, very, very important one more question. Manipulators. Does are used to format the output. Which one is used to format the output? Manipulators. Okay. So, this manipulators are mainly designed to use with two operators. Okay. This manipulators are mainly used to define with how many operators? Two. What are they? Insertion operator and extraction operators. 
so this ninth chapter beginning itself you have studied these two symbols isn't it insertion symbol is two less than symbol and extraction symbol is which one two greater than symbol what do you mean by insertion seen extraction see you isn't it so this manipulators are mainly used with two symbols what are they insertion and extraction okay so we are called as a input manipulators and output manipulators okay so this insertion we are calling as an input manipulator and this extraction we are calling as an output manipulators understood so commonly we are using some manipulators in c++ program okay so commonly you are using some manipulators in which program c++ program so what are the manipulators means int l set w set fill this and all very very important this all the things you are going to use in the program okay say int l set w set fill set precision and set f okay what are the manipulators you are used in the program int l set w set fill set precision and set f okay so if you need to use this manipulators in the program means you should use separate header file for that one already you are using one header file which header file hash include iostream.h isn't it so what's the meaning all the input and output operations will come under header file iostream but now you are going to use some manipulators so this kind of special manipulators if you are going to use means you should use separate header file for this manipulators understood so what header file you need to use means for int l okay if you need to use int l in the program means you should use a header file iostream.h understand so if you are going to use int l manipulator means normal header file which header file you should use iostream.h okay so if you are going to use set w set fill set precision and set f means so you should use a header file called io manip understood so this and all very very important one more questions as well as two more questions so ndl manipulator will come under which header file so io stream dot cache set w set fill set precision and set f this and all come under which header file io manip okay so in the programs if you need to see this header file means you should know so in that program you are going to use this kind of manipulators understood so what are the things you have studied in formatting output so it is a very very important concept in c++ so formatting output means you are going to make some changes in the output screen for that this formatting output is done with two operators what are they insertion and extraction operators so this one we are calling as an input manipulator and output manipulator okay so what are the commonly used manipulators ndl set w set fill set precision and set f okay so this endl will come under which header file iostream.h and set w set fill set precision and set f this will come under which header file io manip understood okay so next we are going to study about each manipulators in detail one by one okay first one is endl okay so endl the meaning is end the line what do you mean by ntl end the line okay so the name it's going to be end the line you are going to end the line by using the manipulator ntl okay so this ntl is used as a line feeder in c++ important one more question so ntl is normally used in which one line feeder in c++ okay so this is the alternate to backslash n what's the meaning of backslash n normally by if we are giving backslash n in the program means automatically the line will come to the next line or line move to the next new line backslash n means new line okay it will insert one new line that's the meaning ntl means it will end the line and end the line and move to the next line okay so ntl is used as a which one line feeder in c++ okay so what's the meaning of ntl it will end the particular line first you are typing one line means after the line you are giving ndl means what's the meaning means it will end the particular line and all already so it will end the that line and the cursor automatically move to the next line okay cursor automatically move to the beginning of the next line understood what's the meaning of ndl 
so it will end the particular line and automatically the cursor point will move to the next new line okay so backslash n means also same thing only but a main difference is there between ntl and backslash n okay so even though backslash n and ntl means new line but the task between or working of this backslash n and ntl is some different what's the meaning means listen carefully this is important question what's the difference between ntl and backslash n listen so ntl means it will insert a new line okay one line completed means if you are giving the ntl means it will automatically insert a new line and also flushes the buffer what's the meaning means after the line n it will clear all the spaces okay for example if you are typing one line and after that some spaces will be there if you are giving ntl means it will automatically the cursor will move to the next line and it will clear all the empty spaces to before the next line that's the use of ntl understand but backslash n is not like that automatically the cursor will move to the next line new line but it won't clean up the empty space so that's the difference between ntl and backslash n understood okay see the example see c how backslash n the value of num equal to num here the c how the value of num equal to num and ntl both the things are same only backslash n means if you give means also automatically it will give to come to the next line okay i like this ntl if you are giving means also the cursor automatically come to the next line but what's the difference if you are giving ntl means it will clear all the empty spaces understood the use of ntl okay so next one is set w off okay so what's the next uh, manipulator set w off okay so set w means set width okay so what do you mean by set w set width so it will say this manipulator is mainly used to set the width of the field okay so in the output screen if you need to set width for the particular field means you should give which manipulator set w off okay so if you are giving set w means so it will determine minimum number of characters written in the output okay that means within this width how many minimum number of characters you can write okay that is determined by which one set w of understood what do you mean what's the meaning of set w bit of the field what's the use of uh, bit so it will set bit of the particular characters that means after the bit how many minimum number of characters you can able to write in the output understood that is the use of set w of understood <coughs> next one is syntax see the syntax for set w set w of number of characters okay so what's the mean means here you are giving some characters means after the bit so it will set some characters understood okay see this is the very 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 important program the same program you are going to study this is the first practical program for you understand listen carefully so please now itself listen carefully okay so before i am going to teach itself i am telling this is the first practical program for you very very important so after completion of this session you should study thorough this program and you should write this program in a computer notebook as well as this is assignment for you the same program you should write as a assignment understood okay so listen carefully this is the first practical program for you i am explaining listen carefully okay so what's the header file what's the first line header file what's the header file hash include io string okay next in this program you are going to use lot of manipulators okay so in this program you are going to use lot of manipulators already you have studied no set w set tl that and all manipulators you are going to use so if you need to use the manipulators means you should give which header file manipulators will come under which header file io manip understood why you are using two header files io stream means normally if you are normal use of I O stream means C in C out C N T L. This and all come under I O stream. Next one is you are using some manipulators. So manipulators, if you are using means you should use separate header file called I O manip. Understood? Okay. So two header files is there. Understood why you are using two header file? Okay. So next line is using namespace S T D. Okay. Then in the main of listen carefully. So what's the main of this program means? You are going to calculate net salary for a particular employee. understood you are going to calculate a net salary that means a full salary for the employee 
so if a employee is working in a particular institution or company or industry or anything so if a salary if a particular employee needs to get meets so the particular allowance will be there basic pay house rent allowance then dns allowance pf everything lot of things after calculating all these things only they will give a final salary so you are going to calculate the total salary understood listen for that listen carefully you are declaring what's the next term variable declaration okay so you are declaring the what are the variables basic da this and all you are going to write down okay at that time you will understand basic da da means dns allowance hra means house rent allowance okay gfpf means gross pay tax gross pay then net pay okay so all this they are you are giving in a short form as a variable okay so why you are declaring the variable in float means after calculation you will get to in a some point numbers 25000 points something like this okay so for that you are declaring all these variables in which data type float okay so float basic how many variables basic da hra gpf tax gross and np so all these variables are separated by commas at the end you should give semicolon understood please now itself you study what are the variables one time say basic da hra gpf tax gross and np okay then semicolon next one is you are going to give name for the particular employee okay for that name so name will come under which data type name will come under the data type character isn't it so character name so here listen name of 30 you are giving name of 30 what's the meaning name of 30 means you can able to give 30 letters some person's name will have length some person's name will have length five letters some person's name have length 20 letters some person's length have 25 letters isn't it so maximum they have given up to 30 letters you can enter so character name of 30 <coughs> understood next listen So now in the output screen, see out you are enter basic pay. You are entering the basic pay. So output you are giving means you should give proper input. Okay. So listen for basic, which variable you are giving us the input? Basic. So you should call the variable basic. See in basic. Understood? Next, next see out. Next you are going to enter DNS elements DA. For DA, which variable you are giving us the input? DA. So input you should give see in DA. So each line in fit semicolon. Understood? Okay. Then see out. Next, you are giving house rent elements HRA. So for that HRA, which variable you are giving HRA? So see in HRA. Understood? Next, listen. Next, you are going to calculate a gross pay. So what's the formula for calculating gross pay? Means basic plus DA plus HRA. Okay, this and all no need to study. Okay, this back plus sum of basic. This and all for your understanding comment lines. So in this line, two slanting line, they have given no. All the lines ending, they have given two slanting lines. Something that one for your understanding purpose. That one no need to study. After this, this is the back slash lines. Okay. So what's the formula for gross basic plus DA plus HRA? Okay. Next GPF. What's the formula? This one you should study. You should study and mug up. There is no other way to study. Okay. GPF formula is basic plus DA into zero point ten zero. Then Tax equal to tax formula is gross into zero point ten zero. Then NP the formula is gross minus GPF plus tax. So these four formulas you should study. No other way to memorize. Understood? First you are entering basic pay for that input you are giving. Then DNS allowance you are entering for that input you are giving. Ah, uh, higher house rent allowance you are giving input you are giving. Then formula gross GPF tax and NP. Next, next you are going to print all the things in the output screen with manipulators. Understand? Listen carefully. Each thing you are giving set W of twenty five. What's the meaning of set W? Set bit. So each thing you are setting the bit twenty five. What's the meaning means? See, listen. Set bit twenty five of basic pay. That means before basic pay, before the letter basic pay, it will leave the space twenty five. Then after the basic pay, it will leave the space space ten. That's the meaning. Before the basic pay, it will leave left to the space twenty five. Then after the basic pay, it will left to the space ten. That's the use of set W. Okay. Then basic pay, you should call the variable with on basic. Understood? Then NGL. What's the meaning NGL? Automatically, it will move to the next line. Then 
then basic pay over the what's the next one dearness allowance the same thing said w of 25 dearness allowance then after that also with 10 so dearness allowance you are giving variable da ndl next uh, house rent allowance then said w10 then house rent allowance given in variable hra then listen gross pay so gross pay you are calculated in the variable gross so you are calling the variable gross then gpf gpf you are calculated in the variable gpf then income tax tax you are calling in the variable tax then net pay net pay you are giving in the variable np so what are the variables you are using a same variable you should call here each line at ndl understood see the output this is very very important program first practical program for you see the output see first of what output you will get enter basic pay so next enter da enter hra listen see enter basic pay enter da enter hra listen carefully this this line will come at the starting next listen carefully after that you are giving c out set w of 25 see this here here it will left the space 25 that means it will set the bit 25 here here also 25 after that all the spaces are same see here set width of 10 that's the meaning 10 space here also 10 here also 10 all the spaces will be 10 that's the use of 10 so now it is aligned aligned and now if you are seeing this one means it is a look and feel very nice isn't it so this is the use of set w and set understood what's the meaning of set w set bit and ndl this is very 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 important program for you again and again i am telling very very important program please study and write this program in your computer notebook as well as this is assignment for you okay the same thing explanation only they have given see set w of 25 means it will create say wave field with 25 spaces see here so before the basic pay it will set the space 25 okay next set w of 10 what's the meaning so here after the basic pay it will set the space 10 understood okay so after this enough understood what's the meaning of set w and set f okay so what are things you have studied today what are things modify your const then so what do you mean by const if you are giving a value so constant means you can't able to change then reference reference is ambassador symbol along with reference variable then one important program that's the first practical program for you then manipulators what are the manipulators set bit set up sorry set ndl set w set f set precision that and all we are going to study one by one in detail in next class okay so what's the homework for you means this program you should study and write in your notebook as well as assignment for you thank you students remain we can continue in the next class thank you okay